What's up you guys? It's Pokegirl7 here and in today's video we're going to be covering some Pokemon Go news. So the Pokemon Go Water Festival of 2019 has just been announced and today we're going to cover all the details of that. There's a lot of new things in this event and we're getting two new shinies so can't wait to cover all of that. And we've also unlocked the Ultra Bonus from the Go Fest Yokohama Global Challenge and we're going to talk about all of that because it's basically like a month full of rewards for completing all of that and there's some pretty big stuff in there including some stuff about Generation 5 Pokemon so we have a lot to cover in today's video so let's go ahead and get started. So first things first let's talk about this water type event. So it starts on August 23rd at 1 p.m. Pacific time and it ends on August 30th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So let's talk about everything that we're getting during this event. The first feature of this water festival is water type Pokemon like Magikarp, Wooper, Welmer, and more will appear more frequently in the wild. The following Pokemon will be appearing more frequently in the wild around water. Wartortle, Poliwhirl, Seeking, Lapras, Quillfish, Mantine, Lotad, Phoebus, Piplup, Buizel, and Finneon. So notice that they said around water. So maybe this isn't going to be all over the map. It might just be in the water biome areas. So I'm very lucky. I have a lot of cool places that have water here like creeks and ponds and lakes. So I think they mean you actually have to be around water to get those certain spawns. But the ones like Magikarp, Wooper, and Welmer, and probably some more common water types like that are going to be spawning just anywhere around the map. But we're actually getting some special spawns around actual water. The next feature is that water type Pokemon will hatch more often from eggs. Kingler and Crawdont will be able to learn Crab Hammer, a water type charged attack that is newly available in Pokemon Go. So this is going to be really cool. They're going to have a new exclusive water move. I guess we'll find out if it's good in PvP or not, but that's pretty cool. And then they say if you manage to surf the waves of luck, you might encounter Shiny Carvana or Shiny Barboach. So here we have it, guys. Shiny Carvana, one of the shinies I've been wanting for so long. And I know JT Valor is really excited about this because that's one of his favorite Pokemon. So congrats to JT Valor. I'm really excited about the shiny Carvana. Uh, shiny Barboach is pretty cool too. I think it's kind of like a goldish color instead of blue, so it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what shiny Whiskash looks like. I'll put it up on the screen right here, but I'm really excited about the shiny Carvana and the shiny Sharpedo. And then we have some special raid features, and I think this part is really cool. So first of all, we have water type Pokemon like Blastoise, Vaporeon, Lapras, and more that will start appearing in raids. But on Wednesday, August 28th from 6 to 7 p.m. local time, you'll be able to encounter Uxie, Mesprit, or Azelf in 5 star raids in their respective regions. So I guess the legendary lake trio is coming back. Uh, they said in their respective regions, so I'm assuming it's going to be the same ones we had in each region before. So here in the Americas, we're going to have Azelf and, you know, so on and so forth. Since this is a water type event and they are the Lake Trio, it totally makes sense. And then we have some bonuses for this event, like double hatching candy. And if you have a water type Pokemon as your buddy, the distance to earn buddy candy will be halved. So basically, you can get candy double as fast if you're walking a water type buddy Pokemon. So this water festival is going to be really fun. We've had a water festival event each year since 2017. And it's always been one of my favorite events of the year, so I'm super excited. Can't wait to shiny hunt that shiny Carvana in Barboach. I'm so excited about this Carvana, guys. I've wanted the shiny for so long because shiny Sharpedo is pink and I love it so much. So I'm excited. Let me know in the comments down below if you're more excited for shiny Carvana or shiny Barboach. But anyways, I guess now we can get into the Go Fest Yokohama Global Challenge news because it is a lot. Okay, guys, so we've successfully completed all of the global challenges from each Go Fest this summer and we've officially unlocked unlock the ultra bonus so basically half of September is going to be full of all of these rewards and I'm very excited about it and I think there's some hidden stuff in the announcement that Niantic gave us about this event so let's just go over everything first and then I'm going to tell you guys my theories about everything that is in this announcement and what I think is really coming soon so this ultra bonus is going to last for three weeks and the first week is going to start on September 2nd at 1 p.m pacific time and it's going to end on September 9th at 1 p.m pacific time so during week Week one, trainers can enjoy a chance to work on their Johto Pokedex while exploring and raiding. Put on your walking shoes as Pokemon never seen before in eggs and Pokemon Go will be hatching during this time. So basically we're getting a Johto region event or a Gen 2 event. Pretty sure we had one last year with the Celebi release which is very interesting. That was part of our ultra bonus last year. But anyways, we're having a Johto event so that's going to be week one. Week two is from September 9th at 1pm pacific time to September 16th at 1pm pacific 
perfect time. And in week two, it says Pokemon from across the globe will join in the celebration this week, along with a special appearance by a mythical Pokemon that will be available to challenge in raids. So first of all, it says Pokemon from across the globe will join in the celebration this week. I really think that we're getting new regionals in each area. I think we're gonna get some regionals we've never seen before, like in the Americas. Maybe we'll get a regional from Australia or Europe or something like that. I think they might be switching up the regionals on us and they did say before that we're gonna be getting Pokemon and eggs that have never been there before. I kind of think we're gonna be hatching Mime Jr. from eggs and then we're gonna be able to get Mr. Mime somewhere else in the world or all over the world. I'm not sure how they're gonna do this, but I do think this has something to do with regional Pokemon for sure. And then it says a mythical Pokemon that will be available to challenge in raids. So last year for the Ultra Bonus, we got Mewtwo in regular raids. Before that point, it was just in EX raids and then it got released to normal raids. Right now, Deoxys is the EX raid boss and it took place of Mewtwo last year. So I really think Deoxys is gonna become available in regular raids now instead of EX raids. And I think we're gonna get a new EX raid boss. And guys, I really think it's gonna be Arceus, Arceus, however you pronounce that. The generation four, basically the god Pokemon. I really think he's gonna be the new EX raid Pokemon. And I think we're gonna have Deoxys in regular raids for a while. I don't really think the shiny is going to be released. I've seen some speculation on that, but last year they did not release shiny Mewtwo. I remember thinking they would do it, but they didn't. So I think Deoxys is coming to regular raids. No shiny, just regular Deoxys. But this is going to be great for people who don't have EX raid gems in their area. So this is still a good thing. And I think we're going to be getting that Arceus raid boss soon, or maybe even Darkrai. I think Darkrai would be a cool EX raid boss, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then we have week three, which has a ton of Easter eggs in it. So week three starts on on September 16th at 1 p.m. Pacific time and ends on September 23rd at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So they say unusual Pokemon will be appearing in the wild during this week. Noteworthy opponents are coming to raids too. Over the course of the event, you may also be able to add some Pokemon to your Kanto Pokedex that previously eluded you in part of your world. Venture out to take on challenges and make discoveries. As always, happy exploring trainer. So first of all, they said that we're gonna get noteworthy opponents coming to raids. So I don't know if this means noteworthy as in like Giovanni from Team Rocket. I would like to get Team Rocket raids soon, maybe Shadow Pokemon raids. I think that would be a little bit of a challenge, but it would be really cool. I don't know if they mean like a noteworthy person to battle or a noteworthy Pokemon. It could just be like a new raid boss we've never seen before. I don't really know. It seems like in this announcement, week three is kind of a recap of the first two weeks. I'm not really sure what this actual new raid opponent is going to be, but I thought that one was very suspicious. They said unusual Pokemon will be appearing in the wild. That could mean a lot of different things, but they did say that over the course of the event, you may also be able to add some Pokemon to your Kanto Pokedex that previously eluded you in part of your world. So this is definitely pointing Pointing to those regionals, specifically the Kanto regionals like Mr. Mime, Tauros, Kangaskhan, all of the Generation 1 regional Pokemon. I definitely think they're pointing to that. This is another sign that regional Pokemon are going to be switching places. I don't know how they're going to do it. I kind of feel like they should make all of the regional spawn in every area just for this week. I think that would be really cool. It would help a lot of people to complete their Pokedexes finally. I mean, it's been forever since Generation 1 came out, since the game was released. And if people haven't traveled to get the regionals by now, they probably aren't going to. Honestly, I think this will help a lot of people out and make a lot of people happy. And once again, I really think Mime Jr. is finally going to come out and eggs during this event. So I think this part of it is really cool. But now let's talk about something super fishy in this last paragraph for week three. Um, Adam on Twitter actually pointed this out to me. I had no idea about this before. Definitely did not put the pieces together. So thank you to Adam for pointing this out to me. So let's talk about it. So if you look at the first letter of the first word of each sentence in this paragraph, together they spell Unova. The Unova region is the generation five region. So I think this is a hint that generation five Pokemon are coming soon. So first of all, we have unusual, that's you. We have noteworthy, that's in over that's O and then what next we have venture which is V and then as which is a so together those all spell Unova it's the first letter of the first word in each sentence so I think they like subtly tried to tell us that generation 5 was coming I honestly think that gen 5 might be coming out during week three that's why this paragraph seems kind of empty it seems like they kind of just gave us a recap of the two weeks before in some ways 
So honestly, I think for week three, we might be getting generation five and they just want us to be surprised whenever it does come out. So we might be able to look forward to some Unova Pokemon soon. I think this is so cool that they put these Easter eggs in here. I've noticed the social media teams for Niantic have been very creative with the Easter eggs lately. And they do a lot of things that go right over my head and I don't even notice. So props to Niantic for this. I really think that's what this means. I feel like this could not be a coincidence. This is just too perfect to not be an Easter egg. So I guess Gen 5 confirmed coming soon. Maybe week three of the ultra bonus okay guys so that's all of the ultra bonus madness so basically during that event we're getting the johto pokemon event i think we're getting the regional switching up at least the kanto regionals uh i think we're getting deoxys as a new ex raid boss and i think generation 5 is coming out or at least the first wave they're probably going to release it in waves like they did with gen 4 and gen 3 but i'm so excited for all of this stuff guys it's going to be amazing and i'm excited for that water festival event too there's just so much going on in pokemon go right now niantic has done a really good job like the past few months just really giving us a bunch of new stuff new features new events it's been really fun and we actually do have that stardust event going on uh it was for the global challenge we completed for go fest yokohama that stardust event is ending on august 20th i believe at 1 p.m pacific time so basically during that we're just getting increased stardust for hatches catches and raids and it's been pretty great so far it's a great time to take advantage of stardust grinding and we also have the suicune raid day august 17th from 4 to 7 p.m local time i can't can't wait for Suicune Raid Day. Basically for three hours every gym is going to have a Suicune Raid and you'll have a chance of getting a shiny Suicune so that's going to be great. I'm going to be hanging out with T-Slayers on that day so can't wait for all of that. There's just so much going on. Uh, I really can't even go out and really vlog anything because I have so much news to like sit down and tell you guys. It's just been crazy lately, but honestly, the Niantic's been keeping me on my toes, so it's pretty cool. But I guess that's all for today's video, guys. Sorry if I talked your head off with all of this news. It's just been so crazy lately, so I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of all of my theories, like my Generation 5 theories, my Deoxys theories, and all that. But I guess we'll find out if this stuff is true soon enough. But anyways, guys, I guess I'm going to go ahead and close off this video right here. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel to join my Gengar gang and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!